What's going on guys? John Alder here from CodeMe.com and in this video, we're going to shape and reshape NumPy arrays for NumPy. Alright guys, like I said in this video, we're going to shape and reshape NumPy arrays. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodeMe.com where I have dozens of courses with thousands of videos to teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off memberships, all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee, which is insanely cheap. Okay, moving right along in our NumPy playlist here. In this video, we're going to look at shaping and reshaping NumPy arrays. So, a lot of times you're going to need to know what your NumPy array looks like, what kind of shape it is. Is it one dimensional, two dimensional, 27 dimensional? What is it? And sometimes you're going to need to change the shape of it. It's a one dimensional, you really need a two dimensional. How do you do that? Maybe it's a three dimensional, you really need a one dimensional. How do you change that? So, very easy to do that, and that's what we're going to do in this video. So head over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor and the Git Bash Terminal, as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other NumPy videos in this series. So check that out if you haven't so far. So I've got a file. I'm just calling it shaper.py. I don't know why. It's in my cnum directory. And we've imported NumPy as MP, as always. And so let's just start out creating a simple NumPy array. Uh, we've done this many times, so let's just go MP1. This is going to be an np.array. And let's just sort of make a big, long, one-dimensional thing. Let's go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So lots of numbers in here. We have 12 elements. We know how to print this out. We don't have to look at this, but it's just print np1. Now we can find the shape of any NumPy array anytime we want by calling the shape function. So let's just print out np1.shape. Let's go ahead and save this and see what this looks like. It's not going to be very interesting right now, but head back over to our code. I'm in my cnum directory. And let's just run Python shaper.py. And we can see we're printing out the array. There's 12 things. And here's the shape function. It just returns 12 because this is only a one dimensional array. It's not interesting. It's just saying basically, hey, there's 12 things in here. There's 12 items, right? All right, that's not that interesting. Let's create a, a two dimensional array and see what that looks like. So let's go mp2 equals np.array. And inside of here, we want two dimensions, right? So one and two. And inside of the first one, let's just go one, two, three, four, five, six. And inside of the second one, let's just go seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, right? So we've got six things in each, each of these. And that's cool. If we want to print this guy, let's go mp2. And we can also print the shape, mp2.shape. And this is basically going to return rows and columns, right? We've got two rows, and inside of each one, there's six columns or six elements. You might want to call this. Uh, elements, whatever. I'll go ahead and save this. Let's run it. And we're going to see here. Here's our array. And sure enough, there's two rows one, two, and there's six elements or columns in each one. One, two, three, four, five, six, right? Same thing for down here. So, okay, that's pretty much shape, right? Very easy, very simple to wrap our brains around. Not that interesting, but you're going to need to know this every once in a while. So, the real fun is in reshaping, right? So that's what we're going to look at now. Let's go ahead and clear the screen. Head back over here and let me just go ahead and kind of comment this stuff out. And let's go down here and reshape. So we're going to work with our MP1 array here, this very boring one dimensional array. And let's reshape this guy. So let's create a new one called MP3. And that's going to be MP1.reshape. And inside of here, we just pass whatever we want. So let's say we want three columns with four items in each thing. Now you'll notice, you know, there's 12 things. So we can have four, four, and four. That math seems to add up. We can do that. So let's go ahead and print out MP3. And for fun, we can see just to make sure, let's go MP3.shape just to make sure that this is the right shape we want it to be. Head back over here, run this guy again. Here's our original one dimensional one, right? And then here we have. The reshaped one. And just like we wanted, there's one, two, three rows with four things in each row. Very cool. Very easy. So that's creating a two dimensional array. So we have one dimension and then two dimensions, right? What if we want three dimensions? How do we do that? Well, not that hard. Let's comment this stuff out. Come down here and let's go MP4. That's going to be MP1.reshape. And here, let's say we want a uh, three dimensional and we want two rows of two, right? So let's go two, three, two. So here we can go print np4. And, you know, for fun, let's np 
four dot shape just to get the shape just to make sure. Come back over here, clear the screen, run this guy. So here's our original. And then we've changed it into a two, three, two. Here we see here's one dimensional, one dimension, two dimensions, three dimensions. So that seems right. And inside here we have sort of two elements, one, two, and inside of each of them, they each have two columns or elements or whatever you want to call these things, right? So three, two, and two. Very cool. So, you know, you can reshape these things in many different ways, and we're not going to get into different things and reasons why you want, might want to reshape things in this video. Uh, this is just the mechanics on how to do it. So now we can flatten this whole thing again. So, so now let's say we've got this weird three-dimensional array. We want to flatten it back down to the way it was. Well, we could do that. Let's go NP5, and that's going to be NP4 dot reshape. But how do we flatten? Well, we want to we want this to be negative one. So here we pass two, three, two. Here we pass three, four. We want to set it back to one dimension. We just give it a negative one. So here, let's go ahead and print NP5. And if we wanted to, you know, just for fun, let's NP5 dot shape this guy. It's just going to return the same thing as this, a 12 and nothing, right? But let's go ahead and confirm it anyway. So if we clear the screen, so here we have our crazy three dimensional array. And then we flattened it back out, and the shape is, as we see, 12, just like up here, it's 12. It's one big array of 12 elements. Very cool. So that is shaping and reshaping NumPy arrays. Very useful. Uh, we'll use this for all kinds of things going forward in the future, and it's pretty simple. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodeMe.com where you can use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off membership. So that's access to all my courses, over 50 courses, thousands of videos, and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Join over 150,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from CodeMe.com, and I'll see you in the next video.